Hey guys, it's Danger Jabs. Oh wait, give me one sec. Hello there. Hey guys, it's Danger Debs as Queen Amidala. I'm heading to the Capital Sci-Fi event. We can't sit and talk, I need to keep on moving. Got no time to waste. I'm meeting all my friends at the train station. Actually, half of them I've not met before. But we're all going together to the Capital Sci-Fi event in Edinburgh, so excited. We're all gonna be dressed up. There's gonna be so much to buy. I'm so excited for this. By the way, I can't see. And we're off to Capital Sci-Fi event. Woo! Woo! It's the best episode ever. My dad made it to the Capital Sci-Fi event. Yes. Doc? Doc? Man, this place is a tip. Holy moly, a speaker. Okay, let's see here. Possibly involved with Al Qaeda. You're a slacker, McFly. A slacker. In the tower, and she sort of throws herself and she falls. Can't remember. We put it's, it's a lot of it CGI, so it's like do 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 do. Um, and he literally throws me, and we did it in a green screen. And it, it wasn't it wasn't that bad. It's I love that scene. Anybody at all? Oh yeah. What's my name again? You're Queen Amidala. Thank you. Holy mm -hmm. princess. Uh, you were a Wonder Woman and you were with, working with Chris. Yeah. I was an outlaw king. I saw Chris, but I didn't speak to him at all because uh, I bought half the time that was a stunt double. Did you get to speak to Chris at all? Um, I, <laughs> yeah, I had a few instances with Chris. So, uh, one of the stand in scenes I did, um, you know, when he's shouting, Diana, 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 because she's a. He's, they've had a falling out and then they've made up again. Um, so that scene actually, he was looking straight at me, screaming Diana, and I was, you know, having a few heart palpitations as you do, it's Chris Pine shouting at you. But no, after that, he, he was like, you know, very, very calm, collected, but uh, he does a lot of yoga on set, so you just know, kind of to get near him when he's doing his yoga and meditation. Um, and he's a very interesting guy, very interesting. Like it was, it was nice because we had a scene together. And if we hadn't had that scene, he probably he's got a million things going on. You know, he's got his personal trainer there. He's got so he's got so many people around him. As does Gal and you know the main actors. It's, it's very hard to to uh, interact with them. But when you actually have a scene, when you're facing them, and David, David's lovely. David's amazing. I actually saved David. He fell off the set and I, gr I literally grabbed him when I was coming up. He was like, wow, you really are a Wonder Woman, are you? <laughs> but yeah, so I could potentially save David's life. <laughs> but Chris, yeah, he's, he's a lovely guy. Taking a little break from looking all around Capital Sci-Fi. Mm. Uh, Dad's here with me. This is his first like ever big Comic Con. Yo. Are you joining it? Yeah, it's cool. What's the, like the best costume you've seen? Because you don't dress up at all for this. What's the best costume, Dad? I think some of the Batman costumes are the best. Ah. And of course you are as well. Oh, thank you. Hey, good. Dara. Wow, is that heavy? Yeah. Can I feel it? Yeah. <laughs> Can't hold that with one hand. Yeah, it's quite heavy. That's quite heavy. Did you make it yourself? Yes. How long did it take you to make it? A month. A month? Yeah. Right, let me show you. Oh! Yeah, you have one hand there and one hand there. Yeah. That is heavy. It's completely hollow. Hollow? Oh. So it's completely hollow but still heavy. Yeah. You've done an impressive work. Do you want to tell you a little story? Uh, there was a little girl dressed up as Princess Leia, and when I saw her, I shouted out loud, oh, That's my daughter! And Mum didn't understand why I said that to her little girl who dressed up as Princess Leia. And I explained to her, Queen Amidala had a daughter named Princess Leia, and she got it right away. The mum literally cried right in front of her daughter where we were eating photos together. And the mum kept, kept, kept on crying. I had to tell her, Stop crying! 
And it was adorable for her, this daughter meeting her like her mum. <laughs> she had to stop crying. It was it was a cute moment. Everything was. We am Dalek with her daughter. Hi mommy! Hello! <laughs> awesome. Because it's heavy. Yes, it's a like lightsaber. <laughs> I trained. Really, I'm not very good at it. Wow. Who are you, Melanie? Blue diamonds. How long did you get this costume? Um, well, it's kind of bought, mixed, so about three days. Wow. And how long did you take the makeup? So much glitter. Four hours. Four hours. This only took it like an hour. Only because an hour to eyelashes. Decided to go inside. I love everything about your costume. Thank you. So good. Where can people follow you on YouTube? Because I saw you vlogging around the whole place. Um, well, I'm in the middle of changing it. It was Muni Moo, but it's going to be Milky Stars soon. Ooh, Milky Stars. Oh my goodness, look how cool. Even the flash in there. Wow. And if off, it takes over. He'll move it to Scotland. And then imagine a Dalek with a Glasgow accent. Do you want a Dalek curse, eh? <laughs> exactly. Oh, and who do you come as today? Uh, of course, the Sarah Howard, of course. He reminds me of someone. I, I'll come to me, I can't think of who it is. It's you. Do you have a particular question for somebody? Yeah, I've got a question for um, Sylvester McCoy. He's right there, so you fire away. Yes, um, I was just wondering, seeing the title sequence, there's, um, you know, your face is silver. Is that actually face paint, or was that like effects? Or did they actually paint your face? No, they actually painted my face. <laughs> and they left a hole so I could be, speak. <laughs> when, when does it, when does it wear off? So when does it wear off? When does it wear off? Has it come back again? Yeah. <laughs> well, the makeup must be going away, yes. No, yeah. I've no idea why we did it, but I'm glad we did, because I thought it was rather effective, really. I think it works. Yeah. 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 Show yeah. JMT's idea. There we go. Uh, well, thank you, uh, Seventh Doctor, for asking the Seventh Doctor that question. Uh, you're welcome. I got away from my parents, so they'll go around again, again, all by myself. No, I actually enjoyed it. You got asked, like, photos with me, got some posters. And they're a daughter of mine. That's three in a row. than me. Oh, I met Ben earlier. I was like, son, please. <laughs> oh, as um, yeah, Kylo Ren. Kylo Ren, that's yeah. it, yeah, yeah. He, just, he wouldn't talk to me, he was like, coward. This is Erin. She gave me a little tip on how to look like this character next time. Because my boyfriend wants me to just like you for Glasgow Comic Con. Amazing. Okay. What's, like, what's the character's name again? Gamora. From Girls of the Galaxy. Yeah, Mora. Gamora. I'm going to get her name so many times. <laughs> <laughs> me and my boyfriend are thinking like he's going to chase me around the whole place to try and catch the orb. Oh wow, amazing. I want you to have an orb. Oh, you don't have sorry. it? No. Oh, well, thank you for the amazing tips. You're welcome. I'll get this hair. Yes. Style. Thank you. Dad and Brian are going to love what I just got them. Star Trek badges. Before I go, I got you a few stuff for you go back to the nest. Uh, I got you a Star Trek badge. Alright, thank you. There you go. And I got you some chocolates. That way you can have some chocolate on your way back home. There you go. Alright, I'll take a picture of that climate. Thank you. You're welcome. Just on the train heading home. What I got from Capital Sci-Fi, I'll show you later after I got all this makeup off and I've gotten home back in Paisley. That's me back from the Capital Sci-Fi event. It was so good. Got home by train, then went to play Pokemon for my boyfriend because he's at work. I got this for him. I was a fake Pokemon master getting this for him. Lucky enough, someone got it for me. Came home, got undressed, and now I am Pikachu. <laughs> Still trying to stay in sci-fi mode. 
My head is still buzzing with the Capital Sci-Fi. I feel like I'm still there looking at all the stalls. Capital Sci-Fi was great. Small venue, cramped, but it was worth the while going. Worth our caution to wear. My parents loved it. My parents went to the first ever big Comic Con. My mum saw a big, huge room of people dressed up. She loved it. She was so glad she got a ticket and went. Oh my goodness. I also got asked a question to Sarah Williamson, I hope that's the right way to pronounce her name, who was the stunt double for Wonder Woman, one of the stunt people for Wonder Woman Man. She was like at the clock tower, that's the one the bit she stunt at. I asked her a question like, do you think Chris is hot? Because I've seen him. Do you think he's hot? <laughs> Did you get to speak to him? So that's why I asked to Sarah Williamson. It was so cool uh, seeing her, it was also seeing other celebrities like from Doctor Who, Raven, the show on the BBC. There were so many stars there, there were so many props there, there were so many things you can buy, so many things you can bid on, so many games you can play, so many props that you can go and see. It was so good. There were so many people to talk to who were just as characters. I loved everybody's uh, costumes that were there. I really liked the costume that was Princess Elia costume. That was really good. I liked that one. Um, I like the one by Milky Star, that, that costume's cool. Any costume that I see with blue skin or blue hair, I love. Um, there's a lot of cool costumes out there. A lot of people were dressed up as a Stranger Things character. Even my friend Abby, good costume girl, Dustin she was. It was so worthwhile dressing up as also Queen Amidala. Anytime you go to Comic Con, you gotta dress up and buy stuff. I got so much stuff, let me show you what I got. I got... A Spider-Man badge. Uh, I got a lot of badges. So I've lost a badge right now. That says life support. I've got so much here. I don't care what business you are. Just give me your badges and your freelance cards. I also got this from my boyfriend. That's good for his birthday. It's coming up soon. I got this for me. Thing in common that me and Ryan have. He loves Deadpool. I love unicorns. This is perfect for us. I also got a few posters. These posters all cost together £15. Um, I got a Harley Quinn wanted poster, that's for me. I got a Deadpool wanted poster, that's for Ryan's birthday, don't tell him. And I also got this Spider-Man selfie poster, I love this. New Spider-Man filming. I have seen the new Spider-Man film, I love it. I was not disappointed at all. My mum and dad got me this, Star Wars soap. And also my mum got me this. Boxes that turn into minions. I don't know if I'll make it. Me and I just find some little kids and give it to them. Also got some little Lego figures of these two people. Guardians of the Galaxy, Star-Lord and I've forgotten her name again. But anyway, these two are the people we are going to dress up for next time when I go to Kong Kong. Ryan's going to be Star-Lord and I'm going to be this person. I've forgotten what her name is. I really have. Ryan really wants me to dress up as her. I also got Princess Leia, my daughter, who I met like three times. I also got here this girl. I don't know who she is, but I love her outfit and her hair. I see her a little bit like at shops and I just love her outfit. Thing I got also here, more Lego figures of Rick and Morty. These are rare ones to find. I've got a Rick here and a Morty here. Ryan's gonna love them. Oh, I also got this. Some little snacks. R2D2 lollipop. And some figure chocolate. My dad's got some. Give it to him. Uh, I've got a lot of stuff here. I really have enjoyed my time. I didn't waste my time going. I didn't waste my money. It was really good going. I met a lot of people. I got to talk to people who I never met before who were in costume and I may never recognize again. But it was worth the while going. I can't wait for the next Capital Sci-Fi. I will go and I also can't wait for the Glasgow Comic Con. I really can't wait for it because me and my boyfriend are going to dress up as the characters from Guardians of the Galaxy. I love Comic Con so much. I just got into this whole Comic Con thing since 2015 and I'm happy I did because you get to dress up for a whole good reason. It's not Halloween, it's just for fun for whoever you want to be. Queen Abadala, Anna, who I was last time. Who will I be next time? Oh yeah, that girl from Guardians of the Galaxy who's 
you know, green face. My boyfriend will be Star Lord. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap up this vlog. It's been a good time going to the Comic Con. Captain Sci Fi, thank you so much. Hopefully, next time you won't have a cramped venue, you'll have a bigger venue. But I have enjoyed my time. Thank you for all the amazing people we saw and all the amazing things I got. And all the amazing people who are wearing costumes. You put so much effort into your costumes. Very well done for everybody who I met and saw. This has been Danger Debs. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you next time, especially at the Glasgow Comic Con. This has been Danger Debs. See you next time. Bye! I need food!